Hello everyone, hope you all are good. I am Shruti Sinha and I would like to welcome you all to the virtual lecture in which we will discuss the memory and input output ports. So let's get started. Actually a computer port is a physical docking point using which an external device can be connected to the computer. In a computer there are various connectors and ports which help in establishing a communication path between the CPU and the various storage devices. They are used to connect different devices to the computer. Without these ports the computer would be useless. So let's understand what is an input and output ports. So we can see a connection point that acts as an interface between the computer and external devices like mouse, printer, modems etc. is called ports. Ports are of two types internal ports and external ports. So internal ports used to connect the motherboard to internal devices like hard disk drive, CD drive, internal modems etc. And an external port is used to connect the motherboard to external devices like modems, mouse, printers, flash drives etc. Let us look at some of the most commonly used ports. So, first is serial port. So, serial ports transmit data sequentially one bit at a time because serial means one event happening at a time. So, they need only one wire to transmit eight bits. However, it also makes them slower. Serial ports are usually 9 pin or 25 pin mail connectors. They are also known as COM which is short for communication ports or RS-232C standard ports. Next is parallel ports. So parallel means more than one event happening at a time. So parallel ports can send or receive 8 bits or 1 byte at a time. Parallel ports come in form of 25 pin female pins and are used to connect printers, scanners, external hard disk drive etc. So we can say a parallel port is a connector through which a computer communicates with a peripheral along parallel wires. Printers are the most common peripheral to use parallel ports. Let's understand what is a USB port. So USB stands for Universal Serial Bus. USB has been around for a few years now. The USB ports are fitted to just about every computer now. Short for USB flash drive or USB port. It is an industry standard for short distance digital data connection and it is a standardized port to connect a variety of devices like printer, camera, keyboard, speaker etc. Actually USB port provides us various facilities like it can connect all kind of external USB devices. The data travels at 12 megabits per second. USB uh, compliant devices can get power from a USB port and USB supplies power to the peripherals. It provides a facility of plug and play and there is no confusing cabling. It means no null modem cables, hand shaking lines to mesh with etc. So uh, next port is PS2 port. So PS2 ports stands for personal system 2 ports. It is a female 6 pin port standard that connects to the male mini DIN cables. PS2 was introduced by IBM to connect mouse and keyboard to the personal computers. This port is now mostly obsolete though some systems compatible with IBM may have this port. 
actually most PS2 ports only support pointing devices like mouse, trackball, trackballs and touch pads that is why it is commonly referred to as the mouse port even though the PS2 port is also used for keyboards. Next is infrared port. So infrared port is a port that enables wireless exchange of data within a radius of 10 meters. Two devices that have infrared ports are placed facing each other so that beams of infrared lights can be used to share data. Infrared port also commonly referred to as IRDA which means infrared data association and it is a port much like what we would find on our TV or VCR remote. There are various infrared devices available to end users like IRDA that is infrared data association adapters, mouse, keyboards, PDA, printer, computer remotes, network solutions, etc. Actually, infrared was discovered in the early 1800s by Sir William Herschel. He discovered upon moving a thermometer across the spectrum of colors that the heat would increase towards red. As he continued to move the thermometer towards the red, the heating continued to rise. This area is what we call infrared or also known as below red. Next port is Bluetooth port. Actually, Bluetooth technology is named after Harald Bluetooth, a Danish king who managed to consolidate Denmark and a part of Norway in the 1900s. It is a cable replacement technology. Bluetooth is a telecommunication specification that facilitates wireless communication between phones, computers and other digital devices over short range wireless communication. Bluetooth port enables synchronization between Bluetooth enabled devices. There are two types of Bluetooth ports, incoming and outgoing. Incoming Bluetooth port is used to receive connection from Bluetooth devices and outgoing Bluetooth port is used to request connections to other Bluetooth devices. So Bluetooth is a short range wireless technology and the range of Bluetooth is 15 meters and it transmit or receive information at 2 to 3 megabits per second. Next is FireWire port. So FireWire is Apple computer's interface standard for enabling high-speed communication using serial bus. It is also called IEEE 1394 and used mostly for audio and video devices like digital camcorders. There are FireWire 400s and FireWire 800s. FireWire port works like a multi-platform serial bus. A FireWire port can reach up to 400 megabits per second. The data transfer is relatively fast and also results in excellent quality. It is very similar to the USB 2.0 port. The FireWire port does offer an enhanced data transfer rate between devices. Next is SCSI port which stands for Small Computer System Interface. It is a set of standards for physically connecting and transferring data between computers and peripheral devices. The SCSI standards defines commands, protocols, electrical, optical and logical interfaces. SCSI is most commonly used for hard disk drives and tape drives. But it can connect a wide range of other devices including scanners and CD drives. Although not all controllers can handle all devices.
the connectors of scsi is an hdi 30 high density 30 pin connectors and next is keyboard port the primary port on all computers is keyboard port it is interfaces the keyboard to the computer, it is usually a 5-pin DIN connectors. The PS2, Personal System 2 port, also referred to as the mouse port or keyboard port, was developed by IBM. It is used to connect a computer mouse or keyboard to an IBM compatible computer. Nowadays, new computers use USB for the keyboard and mouse. Thank you for watching the video. Thanks guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.